Hi, I'm Austin. And I'm Dan. And we're here to play games. Badly? Yep. Welcome back to Persona 3 Reloaded. Where we've yeah. got lots of stuff going on. A couple more days and it'll be full moon. But don't worry. We're going into TARDIS and we're gonna save Bunkichi! Yeah, that's right. We're gonna come into Tartarus hot today. <laughs> well, not today, but uh, today on this recording. Um, but for today in the game, we are gonna start with uh, Lovers Rank 4. I'm gonna hang out with uh, Takiba, who, if the surveys are to be believed, are who you guys like the most for our romance option for our main character here. Yep. So. The survey, or yeah, the the poll is still open for a couple more weeks, so it may change, but it's looking like Takiba is going to take the win. And if this is your first time at our channel, welcome. Uh, if you want to see this series from the beginning, be sure to check the card in the top right, where it's got a link to the full playlist. All right, let's do this. All right. Oh, Yuki Kun. Hey. I was thinking of dropping by Polonia Mall today. You want to join me? We've got Queen Medb. Queen Medb. Medb. Cool, let's go. Was there anywhere you wanted to stop by? Maybe we could go there some tea first, then go shopping after? You got it, Chica. Tea. Austin's already stumbling over his words. It's a good sign for the rest of this recording. Perfect. <laughs> let's see. I'd like to stop by the drugstore before we head home. Do you mind? It'll just be a little longer. Go get some drugs. Hang on. I've got a phone call. Ha ha ha. Yes, you do. Oh. Hello? Yeah? What? So, get to the point already. Huh? Bam. Whoa. That's not funny. What? How do you think that would make Dad feel? <sighs> Fine. Do whatever you want. Just don't call me again. Hmm. Family drama? <sighs> drama! Sorry. Who was that? Uh, do are you okay on this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. You, you know who I was on the phone with, right? <sighs> yeah, it was my mom. She hmm. says she wants to get remarried. Hmm. I don't really care if she wants to get married again. What I can't stand is how she chose to live her life. Running away from things, jumping from guy to guy. I don't think that's fair to my dad. Kari seems pretty upset. A perfectly normal and reasonable response. Hmm. Riley stood by her side until she calmed down. <sighs> Sorry. I'm okay now. Really, thanks. I'll never be like her. I'll never give up standing on my own two feet. Running away from your problems by clinging on to others is the worst thing you can do. I've decided I'll make it through on my own. I'll show her that I can be happy that way. Hmm. Yukari has shared her innermost feelings. I understand her a little better now. Rank up! Thanks for listening. For some reason, I feel like I can tell you anything. Let's head back now. I'll do the rest of my shopping some other day. On my own, because I'm fiercely independent. I left the mall and went back to the dorm. Huh. <laughs> Getting into that mama drama. Oh, you're back. Yeah, I guess. Hey, just one more week. Hey. Thanks, Batman. All right. <laughs> he is the knight. Uh, okay, so we're doing tea with Mitsuru again. Oh, excellent. Uh-huh. It's tea time. Oh, right. We have some time. Would you care to join me for some tea again? I'd like to brew a different blend this time. It also happens to be one of my favorites. Mitsuru asked me to join her for tea. Should I spend some time with Mitsuru? If you don't mind, I'd like you to join me for a cup. Door. Thank you. Wonderful. I'll start the preparation. It feels nice being able to pour tea for someone else like this. Oh, 
My apologies. I'm supposed to be the host, and yet here I am thinking about myself. How about you, then? Are you having a good time? Oh, yeah. I'd like a refill. Actually, I'll go with of course. Of course. <sighs> that's good to hear. Chamomile is known for its relaxing properties, so maybe that's taking its effect on you. Mm. I was actually a bit worried that I might be putting you off. Apparently, the popular opinion is that I'm difficult to approach. Hmm. We're running low on snacks. I'll have to ask my staff to actually... Oh, never mind. Here, let me pour you another cup. I drink herbal tea with Mitsuru as we discussed our favorite snacks. All right, I think that's enough for now. We should start cleaning up. Chamomile is really good. I'd like to invite yeah. you for this again, if time allows. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ah, I didn't catch what that last little bit was. Oh. What do the logs say? But for now, let's head back to our rooms. Okay. Not important. I guess. What are you doing, She's I guess? She's staring uncomfortably. <laughs> what else would she be doing? Ah. Staring uncomfortably. Okay, so we're doing Justice Rank 7 after school today. All right. Chihiro. Yo. Excuse me. Oh, Yuki-san, are you leaving now? Um, I was thinking about visiting the bookstore again. I know it might be a lost cause, but still. She's got to get that book, yo. Oh, thank you get so it. much. To be honest, I was afraid to go by myself, but with you there, then even if someone bought it, no, I should go be more optimistic. Okay, let's go, Yuki-san. Senpai, hurry! I hope no one's bought that illustration collection. Uh, please still be there. Mm. Come on! Wait! She's fired up. Yeah, right. Fushimi! They said our class's materials fee hasn't been paid yet. What? Yeah, I was totally getting grilled in the faculty office just now. The money. I, um, gave it to Mr. Takenozuka when he came to the office. You were the one responsible for that money, weren't you, Fushimi-san? That means you were the last one who saw it. Uh -oh. Um, but I just told you. Well, the teacher told us we haven't paid yet. So doesn't that make this your fault? I suppose it um, depends. Uh, I... Okay, it's got to be a misunderstanding. Yeah, but I'm, I'm kind of wondering if she, like, quote unquote, borrowed it so she'd get the book. Mm. Y yes, I think so too. I clearly remember giving the money to the teacher. It has to be some kind of mistake. Look, just make sure you take care of it, all right? I'm sure it's exciting to have that much money, but you better do something before everyone finds out. Don't worry. We won't tell anyone. Wait! You think I... Uh, th those guys... They must think I stole the money. I I couldn't stand up to them, but I... I, I didn't take anything. We have to do something. Hmm. Y yes you're right. We have to do something. I have to prove to everyone that it wasn't me. How do I do that? I'm certain I handed the money over. I'll just have to talk to Mr. Takanozuka about this. But what if he thinks I'm accusing him of stealing? Senpai, what should I do? Take a deep breath. Chihiro's on the verge of tears. I have to do something about this. I can sense that Chihiro's relying on me. Oh, this is where it ends? Oh, that's awful. Wait. Wait, we have to know what happens. I'm sorry. I know I can't just expect you to solve everything. This is my problem, so... I need to figure it out on my own. Bookworms. I think I have to pass today. Sorry. Hmm. I really think... Next time. <laughs> I feel right. I'll let you hear into those time to part ways. Okay. I really think Yuki, because we're loaded, should just be like, here, I'll get the book. 
when you've saved yeah. up enough of your allowance, pay me back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, did you, is she really keeping the money? Are, are we sure? Who well, knows? no, I mean, I guess that, we'll find out. Yeah, yeah, with that reaction, I'm inclined to trust her. Um, yeah, but she said she didn't do it. Hi, how was your day? Yuki Kun, have you been able to figure out why the mach machine in the command room is malfunctioning? Your <laughs> senpai asked me to take a look, but I have no idea what's wrong with it. it seems to break down once a month around. Oh, don't worry, it doesn't affect our missions or anything. In the command room, you say? Is that where we're headed? I. No, doesn't say that. Okay. <laughs> uh, we are gardening with Fuka this evening. All right. Um... Can I help you? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, oh Yuki Kun, how are the rooftop planners doing? Quality of the produce might improve. We turn the rooftop planners together. Um, Can I help with your gardening again? That'd do be it! Great! Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, let's head to the rooftop then. Trust we got tomatoes. Do it! Yeah. <laughs> there are white spots on the leaves here. Huh. I think I've seen something like this in a book at the library. It might be a common disease in vegetables and flowers. What do we do? What if the plants die? Hmm. Well, how did the book say to fix it? Yeah. <laughs> well, they're doomed. <laughs> well, oh, right. If we take care of it now, it might not be a problem. From what I can tell, it doesn't look too serious yet. Um... What did the book say? You just need to cut off the white parts and... <gasps> That's right! Vinegar! It's said to put some diluted vinegar on the affected areas. I'll go get some from downstairs. Hmm. Hmm. So you cut off the parts and then you put vinegar on it. <laughs> well, I guess on the, on the edge where it got yeah. affected. Uh, I yeah. think that's about everything we can do. He picked up the fallen leaves and the air circulation is good now, too. Everything should be fine now. All that's left is to trust they can recover. Thanks for the care we put in. It looks like this will be a big harvest. Woohoo! We fixed it. Thank you for today. I wouldn't have been able to save the plans if you hadn't been here. I'm still a little worried, but please let me help out again sometime. You got it, chickadee. It'll be okay. Yep. Now get cool tomatoes. That's right. Actually, vinegar is um, a fairly oh, common weed killer of sorts. Mm -hmm. um, I think it has to be mixed with some other stuff, but it's definitely one of those like non-chemical uses of vinegar, which there are plenty. Yeah, it was diluted vinegar, which makes sense. Right. Sup, dude? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Not great. Uh, well, get it together, dude. You're our leader. But no need to worry about me. I'm in top form. Let's own that next shadow and make the world a better place, yeah? That makes sense. <laughs> Stupé. Alright. Get it together, dude. That's right. Sup, dude. So we're doing strength rank. Six this Ooh, afternoon. Excellent. She is this way. Haha. -ha. Hello. Oh, Yuki Kun, are you busy today? I was thinking of coaching those kids some more. They were really working forward to it. Looking toward. Looking forward, looking forward to, it. to it. Oh boy. <laughs> Good thing there's a lot of voice acting in this one because we're gonna have a lot of Xenogear <laughs> problems like we did last time. <laughs> Did a bunch of research on my end for this, so let's give them a real workout. Great! Golly. We only have so much time to train here, so you have to practice on your own if you want to win. That's right. Yeah, we can do that. Good. And don't forget, know your limits and make sure you stretch properly. Oh, why don't you give them some advice, too? You guys you got, got this. Got this, that's right. That's what we're picking. Show some guts. Oh. Yeah. But don't forget to stay focused till the end. Stay now listen, focused. no matter what, think positive and don't give in to fear. Must not lose to fear. The kids went home after finishing their training. Those kids are going to challenge the sixth grader soon. Apparently, the winners will get to use the schoolyard. Huh. 
Earlier, they asked me to write the challenge letter for them. A little worried, actually. Well, not just about the race, but also about whether or not I spelled something wrong. Oh no. So, what's your honest opinion? I don't know that the sixth graders really will matters care. when you're as young as they are. Do you really think they can beat the sixth graders? Uh, as long as we believe in them. You gotta believe. Yeah, you're right. A coach has to believe in her team. And they've all trained so hard, too. They'll be fine, right? After all, they learned from us. Oh, then why am I feeling so nervous? It's gonna be okay. <laughs> I'm sure they can win. I feel a bond forming with you, Ko. Seems we're growing closer. Uh -huh. Rank seven. Up oh, six. My bad. Rank six. <laughs> Come to think of it, I should have asked you to write the challenge letter. I probably should have used bigger words. Ugh, I'll be so embarrassed if those sixth graders laugh at it. <laughs> ah, That's all right. It. Words are hard. Yes, they are. <laughs> so, um, oh. She's on the computer. She is. That's interesting. What's the, huh. uh, what is this? The Yeah, the RC Kita. The hyper, hyper metal, metal robot. robot. Yep. Oh, boy. Oh, you're back. It's a good chance our next operation is going to be on Sunday. we got four days to prep, so don't slack, all right? By the way, I started a new workout routine last week specifically geared for combat. Nice. Hey, he ain't the only one starting for a f starving for a fight. Just say the word. You can count on me. Hmm. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but don't get yourselves worked up. Um, anyway. Workout routine. Right. So while we're looking at these equipments real quick, um, the you got to believe statement. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um, it's not bad actually. That, mm. that might be better for Mitsuro though. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what's the Armada CA do again? In invigorate. Oh, I like Invigorate though. <laughs> yeah, it Invigorate's nice, but that anti-fire is. Yeah. We always swap to it. Yeah. We got new shoes too. We should check those yeah, out. that's what I was gonna look at. Also, shift boost. Oh yeah, when you're on, when you're receiving a shift, um, I think B slaggings is good for Mitsuru if I remember right. Or uh, it's a strength plus three, so not, oh. not really. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that might be better for her as well. Yeah, I mean it's certainly more evasion. So yeah, we'll just do that. Why not? Why not? Um, anyway, so the you gotta believe the way I said that. Specifically came from uh, playing the Spyro game back in the oh. PS1 era. In the first Spyro game, you have to like run around defeating these enemies called Norks. But Norks, yeah, okay. yeah spelled G, G N O R K or not R C, excuse me, G N O R C. And like okay. the, the final boss, his name is Ganasty Ganork because it's spelled <laughs> that way. <laughs> it's a silly game, but in the process, you're like saving these dragons who've been crystallized and near the end you find one and he's just like Spyro you just gotta believe in yourself or something along that <laughs> lines and Spyro just goes you gotta believe <laughs> it's <laughs> it's so campy I love it anyway uh, um, that sounds awesome yeah <laughs> it's it's silly Gnasty Gnork, Gnasty Gnork. All right. yeah what are we doing man so Oh, go up, go up a floor. Uh, we need to read with Igus. Okay. Oh, that should be interesting. Uh huh. Learn more about the Yakuza. Um, yeah. Makoto-san, are you currently free from predetermined obligations at this moment? I would like to enlist your assistance in absorbing all necessary information from the Yakuza novels. Igus looks serious about this. <laughs> Can improve my charm. Oh, and she's gonna learn an ability soon. Excellent. There is another matter I wish to discuss with you as well. Let's read together. Yes. Then I shall retrieve the book from my room. Please stand by until I return. Hmm. I feel like my charm has increased after reading about the main character's righteous spirit. Righteous. We're so charismatic. That's right. Um, I am going to upgrade my outer appearance. Uh, First, art. I will triple the current surface area of my armor plating. After that, 
I will repaint my body gold and add a large dragon to my back. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> Uh, what are you talking about? Uh? After reading this book, I came to a conclusion. This is what I have to do to appear strong and encourage people to depend on me. Sure, I Auto appearances carry an influence that is beyond my ability to calculate. The main character of this story also carefully cultivated his image so everyone would take him seriously. That is why I'm looking into upgrading myself. In order for me to become more dependable, it's necessary I change my appearance. Don't you agree? Um, what's important is attitude. There you go. Attitude? So that's what takes priority? Oh, could it be? I apologize. Please forget what I said about upgrading my appearance. It seems I had the completely wrong idea. At one point, the main character of the book says, Can't have people think I ain't cool. Mm. Until then, he'd put so much effort into his attire, yet he goes to raid his rival's territory wearing nothing but a shimekomi. Thanks to you, I finally understand. What's most important in life is having a strong heart to stay true to your beliefs. Therefore, I will also follow what I believe in. I may not appear dependable, but don't worry. I will adjust my attitude to reach maximum energy output and to increase my ammo stocks by 50%. <laughs> Very good. By understanding the essence of the story, I guess is feeling her fighting spirit. What we got? Fizz boost. Heck yeah. For some reason, I feel like going to Tartarus and raising some hell. Shall we conduct a raid? <laughs> oh, it's gotten so late. It doesn't seem like we'll be able to go tonight. How oh, unfortunate. I'll just return to my room then. I wonder... So, Fizz Boost is 10% boost to physical skills. Oh, nice. All right. What do you wonder? Well, I was going to say, I wonder if some of these, it's so late in the night reading escapades, like if they go through the dark hour without uh, without realizing it, right? If it's really that late, which I don't think they're staying up that late, except for when they, yeah. go, to the, except for when they go to Tartarus, but. Right. I can hear people talking. By the way. Wish they'd be quiet. <laughs> it finally <t> <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's finally time <laughs> to break out the winter uniforms. They're so heavy. My shoulders hurt. At least I found my lapel pin in the pocket. I'd haunt me forever if I couldn't find it. You know what? My shoulders have been hurting lately, too. Plus, I've heard weird voices, and I've also been getting headaches. No You're getting way. apathy syndrome. Oh, no. You're haunted? Mm -hmm. I like this song. Ah, this guy. I finally <laughs> get to tell you all about Masamune Date. Today! I was so excited last night, I couldn't sleep a wink. Let's not waste any more time. We'll start with Date's early life. In 5067, at Yonazawa Castle. I'm feeling sleepy. No, stay awake for this. This is cool stuff. <laughs> and at age 15, he emerged victorious from his very first battle. Thus began his rise to power. Huh? We're out of time. What's your next class? Composition? Miss mm, Toriyumi, eh? Well, I'm sure she'll forgive me if I bring her some cake. So let's continue with... <laughs> Force myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. Perfect. Mm. Alright. After school! Oh boy. Class is in for today. Okay, so we're doing... Actually, um, let's check our ranks real quick. Social rank? uh, ranks? Yeah, let's check check social links. Alright, we got Fool at 5, Magician at 9, Priestess at 6, Emperor is max. Hierophant 5, Lover is 4, Chariot 9, Justice 7, Hermit 
Max. Oh, bye, Maya. Farewell. Fortune at two, <laughs> strength at six, hanged at seven, death at six, temperance at three, devil at five, tower at three, star at one, moon at six, sun at one. Okay. Looks good. And I think as far as missing persons go, we have three we have to get currently. Yes. Quests. Uh, everything else quest is in here. good shape. Yes, Bukichi and two other people that we do not know the name of yet. Yep. Oh, it's so frustrating. Uh, yeah, it means, uh, you know, it, what we were just reading, the, uh, let's see. Where are they? Old co The Hierophant uh, social link mm -hmm. is stuck at rank five until we go to Tartarus. So we'll have to take care of that. Yep, yep, yep. But All we'll right. get it done. Stay yeah, we stayed awake during the lecture. We're going to do Lovers Rank 5, and then this evening is Tartarus, so we'll do um, whatever we want as far as fortunes go for that. Ooh, yeah, good idea. Hey, they're heading home now? I was thinking of singing by the strip mall just now. Want to join me? Sure, are you going to yell at your mom some more? All right. All right, let's get going then. I'm not really in the mood for ramen. What else can we eat? There's a really good salad that makes your brain smart. True. Mm, I don't know about the net cafe. Why don't we go someplace else? Wait, let me see how much money I have. Oh. Sorry about the commotion oh, no. there. Something fell Where's over. My wallet? Did I, drop I assumed it? your cat. But when? Mm -hmm. I had it when I pulled out my train pass. Wait. Someone bumped into me outside the station. Uh -oh. Sorry. I'm going to go back there and look around. It'll just take a minute. Make sure you wait right here, okay? Sounds like fine, it. So don't come after me. Um, um, no. Stay right there, you got it? No. Vukari vehemently warned me and ran off. Are you pretending then? Look around. Yeah. What you... Let me go with you. What are you... What are you crazy? I'm starting to get weird looks. It doesn't seem like she's coming back. Something happened. Go look for her. I decided to go check up on her. What'd you say? You better shut your mouth, bitch! Jeez. Ha! <laughs> if you don't behave, you'll lose more than just your wallet. These guys. <sighs> Any option here? Hey! Didn't I tell you to wait back there? Huh? Who the hell are you? <laughs> Any. I'm her boyfriend. <laughs> hey, wait, what are you saying? <laughs> you really gotta brag, huh? Time to beat the shit out of you. Oh, this is what you think of a the social link moment with Chie and uh, Persona 4. Oh, yeah. Was... Yeah, when, they, when she was like in a confrontation with that guy. <laughs> yeah. He kicks his butt so hard. Yeah. Oh. Apparently, we beat them all up. <laughs> that was a little intense, though. <laughs> you didn't have to beat them up so badly. Listen. <sighs> yes, I did. Hey, why'd you come after me? Didn't I say to wait? Did you think I needed saving? Hmm. I'm not helpless, you know? Oh my gosh. I got my wallet back by myself. I didn't need your help. Uh, okay. Apparently we need to say, I'm sorry. But, but this is the one I want to say. Is it okay to rely on others? I know. It's fine. I'm sorry. You're... <laughs> Don't apologize. I should be the one saying sorry and thank you. Interesting. I'll just go on ahead. I'm all right now. Sorry again. See you. Our pseudo dates keep getting interrupted. I saw you carry off, then return to the dorm, even though we were going to the same location. Uh huh. Uh. <laughs> oh, you're back. Hey. All right. 
Um. <laughs> anyway, uh, through that interesting social link interaction, um, yeah, which... Let's see. Which these do we want here? Lighting future. Fortune? Fortune, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> what kind of fortune are we seeking? Let's see. We got rarity. Rare encounters, okay. Enemies turning into stronger rare enemies. Increase the rate at which the energy gauge charges. Increases chances of inflicting enemies with ailments in Tartarus. That's a good one for Mitsuru. We're going to use her heavily. Yeah, I'm just going to see with rarity. They drop, okay. they drop some good money-making stuff. They sure do. And we always need money. Give me money! You are destined to face an adversary clad in gold. And I think one of our requests is to fight one of those. Or to get a coin from one of those. Uh, Even better. So. Let us hope that you find fortune in your destiny. Thanks, fortune teller. Do, do. All right. Do, do, do. We are ready to enter the Tartarus. Yep. That is what we're doing this evening. Everyone should be available. So, yeah, we're good to go. Oh, she's not down here. I'll just look at the board. Oh, look at the little magnets. It's cute. Yeah, I like that one. A little schedule there. Mm -hmm. Go to Tartarus tonight. Dark hour. I'm just gonna say, with all the floors we're exploring, we get a lot done in an hour. That's true. Hermit Tarot is reacting. Our Hermit Major Arcana card has been added to the shuffle time. Your maximum SP will increase by seven. Oh. Fascinating. That is interesting. All right, who should our party be today? Yeah, uh, no specific guidance here. We could bring people in that need to catch up. Um, I'm not overly concerned about Junpei, but we can use him. He is the lowest at the moment. Akihiko might be good to catch up. Um, yeah, I was thinking Akihiko. Maybe, maybe we do Makoto Ikari, Akihiko... Uh, it's through if we could do. Yeah, they're all doing pretty well. Koromaru, the only one really maybe? keeping up. We could do Koromaru, we could do Igis. Um, either one, really. We do have a healer in here. Um, yeah. Aki Akihiko is handling Fizz, so I guess might double that up, even though I like her a lot. <laughs> but right. Koromaru is very good, too. So yeah, I think, that'll, down with that. I think that'll be a good spread, and we'll change it up as we go. Yeah, it's a good party. If we need anybody else, we can always pop back at the entrance. Yep, yep. Are All they right. equipped well? They should be, right? Oh, yeah. Everybody's as up-to-date equipped as we can be. Although, I do want to get Ken in here at some point so we can see his new weapon as well. What's um, uh, what's our Persona lineup look like? I, I think we're in good shape there, right? Yeah, we should be fine. Okay. This will be our yeah, mains, we got some... and then we got a whole bunch of stuff in here for other stuff as well. So We can drop a few of these as we get new Persona. All right, let's do it. All right. Perfect. Floor 117. Yabash. I think we're finally hitting a new... Um, That's right. A new block. It's a floor we haven't been to yet, though. I hope we can get there soon. Okay, let's get to it. All right. Yeah, yabash. Should be... Yeah, Perhaps it should be you could adjust it. your lineup to target the enemy's weaknesses. I'm I took care of that boat that door. That's why it's checkmarked. Uh -huh. That was the passage, anyway. All right, this area ends. Oh, yeah, we should be able to get past it. Yep, perfect. Open up. Open it up. And we go. Please watch out. Watch out. All I wonder. Right. We're rescuing Bukichi <sighs> here. Is he going to know about Tartarus after this? If he'll remember. Yeah. People might not believe him because he says weird things like offering sushi at his bookstore. <laughs> it's candy, yes. Uh, Maybe it's the next stage. We'll see how far his fist can carry me. Oh, he's actually wearing boxing gloves today. Check that out. 
Yeah, I think that's his, champion, his weapon currently. Yeah, the champion. Yeah, gloves. champion gloves. Yep. Oh, perfect. Hey. Good start. Fortune teller mentioned that I will face an adversary clad in gold. Maybe I'll return with the rare to me. All right. Ooh, this is interesting. Yeah, it's I, uh, this is the new block. Wow, this is really interesting. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah. Kind of got a, like, temple feel to it. What is this? Blue That's sigil. That's a blue sigil. I want to go with fire. Weak to strike. Do not use ice. Weak to strike? Okay. Strike indeed. Hmm. Bork, 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 bork. Alright, here we go. Yeah! I'll just go ahead and punch. Let's save some yeah. SP. I like Akihiko. Alright then, yep. moving on. He's pretty great. He's a good party member. He is. It's Aya based thing. Alright, I'm gonna have to figure out how to read this map better. Hmm, there's a chest. Reading's hard. Oh, well, that's a new area too. That's cool looking. Yeah. So there is a new mechanic in Tartarus starting with this block. Um they're called Dark Zones, and I'm sure we're gonna get a tutorial on it, but just for your awareness and the viewers' awareness of what might be coming up here. Um it limits visibility for everyone, so hey, for you and for shadows. Let's get the jump on that shadow. Oh no! Hey, isn't that one good? There you go. Uh but you'll get a lot of Twilight fragments. Take it down but when you, you get to that zone, the Reaper will spawn quick, more quickly than usual. Aww. So, it's good to kind of plow through it here. Gotcha. Who do we got here? We we got the new hand. We got Ill-Fated right. Maya, an opulent okay. hand. Ill-Fated Maya is weak to slash and fire. Uh, no strengths. And then opulent hand. Let's see. Ah, perfect. Opulent Hand is weak to strike, but it did just use Tetracarn, so be careful with that. Yeah, it did. We may want to blow away Tetracarn by using a Fizz attack on it. Um, anybody's Fizz attack before we get to Akihiko. Yeah. So that dispels that. Alright, well, that'll take care of this then. And yep. And then I can... Uh... Do a little fast swap over here. Weak to strike, he said. Weak to strike. Nice. Yeah, this upgraded you know, weapon is like a Nardteller doing some good, good work. Yeah. Yeah. Good damage. Let's see where we are. On this. Okay. Yeah. Focus. One two, yeah. Hit him with that one two. Hit him with the one two. Time to put you down. Very good. Okay. I see a major. Uh, it's the new one, Hermit. Yep. Nice. Always good to have more SP. Wish it was SP regen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially if it was a regen seven every round. Oh my goodness. Your SP adhesive three really Persona cool five. There, yeah. This one's a strong enemy. Oh, he looks fun. Akura Let's see. I'm still ah. It'll take wow. a okay. time. Very fizz focused. Yeah, weak to light and dark. Perfect. Mega. Light and dark. Interesting. Yeah. Good boy. Got a lot of health. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got lots of time to discuss now that we're climbing up some some floors here. Is there anything you wanted to work through or reflect uh, on? Oh well, I was going to. And maybe we can just do some initial thoughts on this. Um, I did want to talk a little bit about numerology. Um, and the idea of the Tetractus, um, 
Again, I don't have a huge amount of information on that right now, um, but the Tetractus, or Tetrad, it's like a triangular figure consisting of ten points arranged in four rows. In this situation. Um, so it's it's sort of like if you've got four dots, three, two, one, and you connect it into a triangle, which sort of reminds me of the Triforce a little uh, bit. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. But I don't remember exactly. I think it's it's a little bit related um, to mystical concepts, similar to the Tree of Life, Tree of Sephiroth. Yeah. Um, so the most I have for that right now is I'm intrigued by that idea. <laughs> hmm. That's the best I can say about that at the moment. Yeah, that's fair. So the tree of Sephiroth has come up a couple of times now between yeah. our Persona and Xenogears playthrough, but I don't know if we ever really like worked through it very much. Like we we talked about it, that was a cool effect. Um, Tempest Slash is a cool move, yeah. What to do? Um, we we talked about it a bit in in uh, in the Xenogears playthrough, um, but it's complex. Um, and you know, like a lot of mystical concepts and varying religions are pretty complex. Right. But the idea is, it's in mysticism, a pretty common concept is that you are experiencing reality, and reality, and God or the divine force or whatever it is, is a reflection of that. Mm -hmm. Uh, Modun, that's his other one. He had a dark spell at the bottom that was bugging me. Like, what is that spell? Hey. Um, <laughs> Succeed or suck spells. Yeah. I wonder if because he's weak to it, if you can just kill him with it, but then we might not get shuffle time. Well, I also Ooh. doubt it. Another major. Nice. Yeah, chariot. Get that burst going. Yep. I want the one that gives me two cards again. Woof, woof, woof. Oh, we got a samurai nice. helmet from that. Well. Nice. We should bring that to what's his name. <laughs> Ooh, missed a spot. We should talk about the Sengoku era. That's right. Uh, this floor has been fully explored. But it is very interesting because we've got the idea of the the monad doors. Mm -hmm. um, and you, you know, the monad is is closer to your gnostic concepts. There he is. Hey, buddy. Bukichi. Rescue him right away. Um. <sighs> it's quite a shift in atmosphere. It's more like the ruins this time. Just like mm. before, the enemies are stronger than they were below here, so stay sharp. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Oh, a good treasure chest. Look at that. Pierce Eluder. Is that like evade pierce on it? I guess. Let's take a look. Do we even have anybody this week? Uh, not really. Not okay. really. Pierce evasion high, yeah. Yeah, evade pierce. That's useful, probably, if we end up. I don't know why we would ever make Makoto weak to pierce don't damage, but. Yeah. Waterfall, okay? we... Alright, Bukichi! Ugh. Um. That must be one of the people who are missing. I need to provide treatment immediately. Please return to the entrance as soon as you can. Yes. All right. I'll do Who's it. Who's escorting? I guess. Perfect. You got this, girl. Goodbye. Thanks. Yep. Yes. You have to save the entrance till you decide to leave for the night. Yep. Got it. All right. Good. 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 So there are seven paths of the Sephiroth, right? Or some branches. Uh, oh, there are ten, ten. Sephiroth. Um, oh, I thought seven. Be a good seven is ten. sort of an important Don't number in numerology. Um, not that one. Let's see. What are we fighting here, anyways? Definitely not dark. Death twins. I'll go with. Death Twins. Death Twins are weak to light. Don't use lightning or dark, apparently. <laughs> I 
I don't have any light. Hmm. Ah. I'm gonna have to fix that. That one, uh, if you go back one, yeah, that one will learn Kugeon. Yeah. After leveling it up. But she's That'd be good to get. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um. You could, yeah. Um. Do you have any items that throw light? Oh, uh, maybe. Uh. I suspect we do. Uh, Uga Jim. Uga Jim. Yeah. What is, what is purifying rice? Okay, okay, that's uh, that's Mahama. Is what that is. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's just the Kuga Jim. You could throw one of those. All right. Think. <laughs> Why not? Do another one. Whatever. <laughs> Why not? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Ridiculous. Um, let's see. Huh? Money! But yeah, uh, there's the idea of, uh, 666, right? And 6 is, um, Good you know, work, everyone. Now considered the evil in some theology, but it's the number of man is what it is. R yeah, uh, let's say it should be the mark of man, right? Yes, seven is closer to the divine, but there are ten or eleven Sephiroth on the tree, depending. So there's a hidden one. That's our leader. Boom. Yeah. Do they? Do each one represent like an aspect of humanity or or like concepts to each aspire to? Up. Yeah. Counter strike, nice. Uh sort of. Yeah. So there's there are ten attributes or emanations. Uh and they kinda go through the Ein Sof, the infinite space. Um, so it's sort of an emanation of the divine into the material universe. Okay. Uh, so that's that's the overall idea. Oh, hey, we got a dark zone. Yep, it's too dark to make anything out. The entire floor is pitch black. Use your map to tread carefully. Oh. Yeah, so this oh, is what okay. I was talking about earlier with dark zones. Um, you know, careful, look for enemies. The Reaper will show up more quickly here. So we'll Twilight Fragments. Yeah, a lot of Twilight Fragments. Might be worth gathering on this floor, so keep an eye out. Alright, cool. How did you see that? I know, right? Okay, you can see everything. The joys of being a navigator. I will still run with reckless abandon. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, these shadows are white, too. That's interesting. All right, while exploring your periphery, you may occasionally become shrouded in a darkness in the dark zone. The dark zone. Uh, in the darkness. With your vision obscured, you need to take blah, blah, blah. Breakable objects, twilight fragments. Yep, got it, got it. hi -ya. Boom. Suck it, dweeb. Yes, we got the Constancy relic. Constancy relic is... Electric? Weak to ice. Ice. Interesting. Uh-huh. Alright. Yeah, don't use wind on it. I'll go with Alright. This is the ultimate. Alright. <laughs> I think I have something that actually stronger ice. Here. Well, okay, well. It's a mob, but that's fine. Oh, it fell over and it opened up. That's interesting. That is interesting. Diorama. Oh, this is mm. new. Hanuman. Yeah, Hanuman is new. I realized that the last Persona one that I could have picked, I think, was also new for us. Yeah, it's alright. If it's a major, we should pick it up. Hanuman's. Let's do the same thing for our next fight. Fizz, fizz focused, I think. Physical. Take a look. Hanuman. 
No. Dimness is divine. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Definitely. Very fizz focused. <laughs> Ship boost. Nice. A monkey god of Hindu descent. His father is Vayu, the wind god. Extremely nimble. He performed many heroic deeds in the Ramayana. Ramayana? He is yeah. powerful, can fly, and can change his shape into many forms. That is not the only monkey character that can do that in various Asian mythos. True. <laughs> oh, there's work, a work, work, work. Um, yeah, the idea of the Einsoft that I mentioned uh. earlier is pretty interesting, especially if you played uh, Xenosaga. It becomes very relevant and at once a little weird in, in, in that world. Hmm. But everything's weird in that world. Hit that. Yeah. It was strike. Sonic punch. Oh, oh, bummer. I'll go with. All right, well. Anything other fist in here? This will work. Yeah. Fisty cuffs. Fisty cuffs. It's just that Sonic Drive does like 50 damage, and. Akihiko's regular punch does a hundred plus. So sure. That is fair. Come on, man. Oh. Rude. What a rude enemy. I know. And Sukukaja, I don't like that. <laughs> Alright, that takes care of that. I have to do this. Lower his evasion back down to normal. <laughs> Alright, let's try Sonic Punch. Miss. Yep. We'll save it. Soul Dive. Come on. No! No, no, no! That was just not gonna happen, was it? No, it was determined not to. Whatever. Yeah, let's get back to it. We gave it our best shot there. <laughs> yep. That Ooh. shadow looks Dude, way whoa. too strong. That's crazy looking. It is. Ooh. Hey. Very strong. These dark floors are interesting. It's the Samaru. That's right. <laughs> bark, 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 bark. Good oh, and we can. Swap to Dominion. Yep. Spam Ege on on it. That'll be awesome. Yeah. Charge. Mm. Yeah, he's gonna hit pretty hard with this next fizz. I don't think we can dispel that. We're just gonna have to weather it. Yeah. That's okay. It's a good idea. Knock that attack down. Nope. To do. We do have Puka's DRG available. Where are you? There you are. between battles, right? Uh, yes, yes, it should. Yeah. Dominion. Hmm. And then there you go. More dark. More darkness. I like his sword. It's like a, almost a daikatana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good stance, too. Yeah. Nice. Ha! Oh, this is also a new bow for, um... Just stay right there. Takaba as For well. Takaba here. Yeah, yeah. It's a good, it's cool though. Um. They heal. Yeah. Just trying to decide if, if the media was worth it or not. But it was, it's a good top it was low off. enough, yeah. Um. Me. Now what will you do? All right. I'll go with that multi head is nice. Yeah, we gotta get his fizz up somehow. It just seems like it's a little low. 
Um, yeah. He'll get... He'll get better stuff. Um, let's see. When is his next Fizz move? Level 39. Oh, yeah, so, so we're, next, we're getting close. Next level, he's gonna get a much better... Yeah. Sonic Punch is pretty crap compared to what we're about to get, so... <laughs> Blade of Fury... Sonic Punch can technically inflict distress, but Ow. I. Now's the time. I won't lose. Wow, that hit Koromaru pretty hard. Well, yeah, Koromaru's health is. I, I think his defense is pretty low by comparison. Now or never. Yeah, uh, seems like it. What to do? Egeon. Get out of here. Everybody has their fear, G. <laughs> That's the goal, man. Gotta save it up for Better the Monad. There we go. Perfect. Ooh. That's a major. Obtain more items from the enemies and oh. Yeah. Devil's good, yeah. <laughs> done and dusted. Room. Level 40. Yeah. That's cool. Mediorama. Finally. Like that. You love to see it. You love to see we it. Could, we could just overwrite. Yeah, Medea. Much better. Poison mist. Huh. <laughs> you looked really cool out there, Korochan. He sure did. He's such a cute pupper. He always looks cool. I think we've seen That's everything right. on this. You didn't see this bomb of life, did you, Fuka? Didn't think so. <laughs> That it for the dark floor here? Yeah. Looks like it. Looked like it to me. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Oh boy. Random like black feathers floating around. Huh. Yeah. We might need to go. So hey, we got the advantage. We won't know it hit them. Fire. <laughs> Punchy, Punch McGee, and Light. Oh, I forgot. We haven't done anything with Light yet. Yeah, we'll get it pretty soon here, but yeah. It's our last one of those. <laughs> yep. Keep leveling Dominion and we'll get it. Yep. Uh, what was it? Looks like fire will work great. Uh, well, I want to leave Dominion up, so... You have a fire gem or whatever? Yeah, I do. You can allow gem. Here we go. Use those items. Might as well. I'm really right? bad about that in these games. I never use items. <laughs> Alright, not up. Punch this guy in the jeans. Punch him in the jeans. Don't pull any punches. This is not a case of man versus machine. <laughs> Just reach out back. And punch him with the jeans. <laughs> oh man. Money? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. This is over. This is the I want some place. levels. Yeah, that's what I want. Curses. Well. <laughs> I wonder how close we are. Check. Uh yeah, I think the well. stats. I can he go. Fourteen ten. That's gonna Not bad. that's gonna be a minute. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get there pretty soon here. Shadow yeah. Get him. Get him. The enemies weak to ice. Ice. Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The radiant light of life shine upon us all. Okay. There we go. Oop. I'm awful. Ah. Eh. So, obviously, the the use of persona here is quite literal, but it's also reflected kind of 
as the psychiatric aspect too in this game, right? Like, yeah. When you think about the, the different characters' personas, it makes sense for who they are. Uh, right. So, what then? How would you? How do you perceive the significance of the protagonist being able to take on any persona? Ah, yes. The idea of the wild card. So. It's interesting, because before Persona 3, I believe, and I've just read about the mechanics, I haven't played earlier games than Persona 3. I need to, but before that, anyone could use any Persona. Everyone was a wild card, uh. and there wasn't an idea of a wild card at all. Um, so, creating that distinction in Persona 3 was pretty interesting, and so it, it really was more of a restriction, mechanically speaking, of other characters. Mm. Wow, there are not many cards in this shuffle time. <laughs> it happens. Just need one. Went off without um, Let's get going. But yeah, as far as hey, the idea of the wild chance. card, that's always been kind of a special power for the main oh, character. Right. The main character is on the Fool's Journey, which is represented in tarot and by uh, the social links. Um, they're, they're, that's the reason they have Major Arcana, because the idea is you're going through and you obtain uh, the world. The world. Um, in the end, and it makes you, you know, able to stand on your own two feet, able to handle the world and whatever it brings. Um... But you have to go through the journey to do that. Uh, uh -huh, oh, hey, skill, here we go. Gigantic fist. Yeah, so what I was saying earlier was uh, this. So Sonic Punch can technically distress. I would literally just dump that, though. We're, it doesn't matter. What we want to do is big damage right. with his fizz moves. Mazianga's coming up. That's cool. <laughs> yep. And I'll give, give that a try next time you need to strike. I'll bet you're going to be a lot more pleased with that one. Yeah, I think so. Um, okay, so let's let's kind of break that down a little bit more. What is the Fool's Journey exactly? Is this like a, a road to enlightenment or just a character building exercise? Like, Maybe there's some Right, it's, it's sort of a it's a journey through life is what it is. It's part of why, or it's part of what fortune telling is um, in a way so, you know for example um, actually what's, what is a good example I don't want to give like the fool or like the world um, because those are kind of the beginning and the end of the journey actually I think maybe the most provocative one might be death um, so death if you get that in a fortune, right, if, if somebody's doing a tarot reading and you get death, it's like, uh-oh, that isn't good, you know? Right. But what it means is uh, the fool begins to eliminate old habits and tired approaches, cuts out non-essentials, and kind of goes back to the basics. Um, so it's, it's about, like, outgrowing things. Okay. And so it's represented by death because you're, the old person is dying, the new person is arising from the ashes, in a way. Yeah. Um, an actual change, transition. Kind of a pruning. So he, yeah. Yeah, and so each of these are phases and aspects of life. And so it's not linear. It, it, you could take it as linear, I suppose. It's Let's like, I guess you have to rise to through the arcana, but people aren't linear cr progressions. Right. So you might be in, in dealing with the idea of, of death when it comes to the fortune, or you might be dealing with, say, uh, justice, which is about, like, what is your vision? What what does... What's the purpose of your life? What, what mm. Personally speaking, and, you know, take responsibility for your past actions, that sort of thing. Right. So, justice is an earlier major arcana than death, but you don't have to, like, 
go through each of them in order. Ideally, you're going to be ascending through it. And so, in Persona, maxing all social links, um, in the end, I mean, there is no social link for the world, and Fool is usually the social link for, you know, in this game, it's for C's, or for the party, or, you know, like, just for the main quest, right? right? Um, oh, pretty well. And the Fool, it represents beginnings and the potential of a beginning. Enemy spotted. Mm. Let's take him down. Whereas the world is re-entering the world from the more personal journey. Integration of all of the disparate parts, everything, you know, you're you're actively engaged with and involved with the world uh, in, in that. And so you've completed your journey in a way, but you know, a lot of mystical concepts have stuff like that, or mm. religions and things like you know. There's the idea of nirvana, which is very different right. from the world. Uh, nirvana is close to an idea of ego death in certain ways, and I'm not, I'm not really a specialist in in like more Buddhist concepts, but I know it's different than the world. <laughs> right. Don't get oh yeah, tranquil idol here. Let's see. Tranquil Idol is weak to Pierce and Wind. Kakaba will do well against that. Yep. Uh, don't use Fire, and it resists Lightning and Light. So. Wind and Pierce, huh? Wind and Pierce, that's right. Okay. But yeah, I've always taken the main character in Persona to at least in Persona 3, 4, and 5, to be somebody who takes on the burdens of others and progresses through the Fool's journey in that way. And so he has, he or she, has the wild card because it's literally, they are the entire journey. Um, just, it's sort of... It's sort of one of the problems I have conceptually with the wild card too. Like, does that mean nobody else is on the same journey? <laughs> you um, really cool up. But there's a bit of a separation between, you know, like that doesn't mean, for example, that Akihiko is stuck in the spotted. emperor phase of the journey or something like that. Ooh, right. right. Um, I'll start preparing the analysis. So it's more of a. I'm still setting up. This is the way that the wild card time. power works. Right. But it is sort of the main character's journey, because the main character is the most important when it comes to accomplishing the goal. Right. There's a little bit of a I am the chosen one going on there. <laughs> yeah. I just, um, I was just curious if there was uh, maybe a... I don't know, but Ludo narrative reason probably isn't the right way to ask that question, but mm. like a mechanical reason. Well, yeah. Or... I mean, mechanically speaking, obviously, it's he's the main character. The main character can do all kinds of things. Um, the main character always knows these things, right? I, I guess. Is there a way that that would reflect Enemy defeated. You're doing in our reality, right? right? That makes Let's sense. See. So, I'll go with not that. Hmm. Um, are there people out there that we we know that we would consider like, oh, they're capable of building multiple personas? Because typically they're the main character, uh, yeah. right? Well, I mean, like, not to say not to go so that far, but like traditionally speaking, when you talk about a persona, and I think when we talk psychologically. Um, and you can correct me if I'm wrong here, but it's Carl understood that most people have entrance. multiple personas, depending on like the context of where they're at or who they're with. Yeah. Mm hmm um, Yeah, and I believe that's sort of the initial idea of persona is everybody has a set of masks, right? right. And talking talking about the game, you know, the games. Um, a breather. Sick. Yeah, this looks like this is a guardian floor. Yeah, Guardian up next. Let's see. Are we on? 124. Yep. Yeah, there's a Guardian on 125. Saya. Okay. 
Yeah, we can go ahead and fight them if you are ready. Mm -hmm. I think we can take it. Oh, buddy. I know it must be hot, but please try. I, I forgot I gotta pop down and save before I do anything else. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Let's see. This guardian strike and electric are good. Okay. So. Yeah, and I can give you the more detailed resist profiles once we get into it. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to follow your, your question, though. So, regarding... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess I kind of answered my own question when I talked about how we, we yeah. tend to have different personas depending on who we're around, right? Now, I guess the question then becomes, do we really have truly different personas or do we have like a singular type of persona that we represent that key aspects of us in that form show up depending on who we're with, right? Like the truer you are to yourself or the truer you are of yourself around certain people, like how much of that is a mask and how much of that is. It's, I'm having a hard time at putting it into words, but sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I mean it's one of the one of the things about the idea of the persona is it's it's sort of all, and then you you can kind of come down a different way on it depending on what you think about you know how much of this is the person we're putting on for a per you know and how much of it is just their different aspects they're all you right <laughs> um, and technically they are. You know, like you're you're always yourself in a way, but the idea of you know just be yourself means don't do things that conflict with how you actually feel on a core level or your core values. Right. Right. So you know, for example, if, if somebody's talking about how much they enjoy something, and I just start to sort of agree, even though I hate it, I'm not being myself. Or you know, I'm like, oh yeah, I really like doing this, and I, I don't. You know, am I being myself or am I trying to please them? Please am I trying to manufacture a conflict? Am I trying to do something, you know? Right. But that would still be your persona. That's still you. It's just not you at the same time. Mm, right. right? <laughs> well, and then, of course, there's the whole, like, the parts of ourselves that we don't recognize either, that we don't know. Um, or that we don't want to face our shadow. Yeah, exactly. Um, mm hmm. So I don't I don't remember where I've I've seen this breakdown specifically, but it was like a it was like one of those matrices where it's like four boxes, right? Oh yeah, yeah. And it's like the the things that you know about yourself and that others know about yourself. Yeah, the things you know, others know, things you don't know that others know, right. things that you know that others don't know and then things you don't know and others don't know. right and those are all very interesting aspects of people uh -huh. um, like I'm, I'm curious let's go um, I'm curious like what are stuff or what is what are some things about myself that nobody knows all right, let's do this. including myself because I discover right. things on a regular basis where I'm like, oh, I didn't know about this feeling or that feeling. And my wife will just be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, so, all right, let's see. Rampaging Sand is weak to strike and resists time. fire, ice, lightning, and wind. Okay. What about Heartless Relic here? The Heartless Relic is weak to lightning and resists light and dark. Okay, so it's going to resist this then. That's... Oh no, this bypass resistance. Yeah. Actually, that might be better. Yeah, you can charge fizz attacks for everybody. That might be good. Yeah, let's do that instead. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We can probably wipe out one of those rampaging sands with Akihiko's new move. Excellent. All right, so we said up. strike and then uh, lightning on this one. What to do? Correct. All right. 
All right, let's see. I'll go. Come on, Mothman. Let's do it. Come, persona. MVP Mothman. Nice one, leader. Nice. Do it. All right. Let's bust it out. The best bet would be gigantic fist. It's gonna be good. Oh, that is so much better. Right? It's like four times as strong as Sonic Punch. Good grief. That's so much better. Yeah, he really needed an upgrade. He did. Wow, they got a lot of health. They do. What are you doing? That's pretty crazy looking. Oh. He is stunned? Pull the trigger. Yeah, I think so. Appreciate it. Not a fan of that. Confused. Confused. Unpredictably. Yeah, we could probably use Maypatra to get rid of that, I think. Uh, I can use Ego on this one, right? Yeah, it's gonna resist it. I oh would, wait! I would use it on. Oh, the these ones. Top. These are the ones that don't have any resistance to darker light. Right. Okay. Stop buffing! <laughs> Get out of here. Mothman's got your number, buddy. Alright. Um, you said Mipatra? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. What is this? I'm ready to drop, will do it. Yep. That's all ailments. Let's do it. There we go. Love, Emrita. Aha. Uh -huh. Deflect. Do you think you can hit me? Nice reflexes. And immediately you. confused again. That's annoying. Yeah, that's annoying. For sure. She, she has me, Potter, I think, right? Yep. Yeah. Help me. yeah, okay. Stop confusing him. Ah. Okay. One step at a time. That one. That one is confused. Yeah, because it got reflected. Yeah. There we go. He's been waiting for this. Yes. All right. I'll get out of here pretty soon. Yep. Yeah. Damn. Oof. You need to heal quickly. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I caught that he gets like bashed in the back of the head when he lands. Yeah, he gets freaking knocked over. <laughs> oh. oh, this move. I'm not liking that Neuro slash. Oh, I think Akihiko just endured that. Well, that's fine. One HP exactly. That that's the that's an endure. We popped it. Glad he has that. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> All right, let's finish this up. Revenge. Oh, oh, right, because the lightning damage. Yeah. Oh, oh, right, because he's confused. That's why. Yeah. <sighs> Megiddo. Oh boy. Man, this thing is hitting us with all kinds of crazy stuff. I'll go with Yeah. You're definitely seeing the, uh, yeah, you may want to switch to whoever. Yeah, top will be fine. We'll get some good EXP on whichever persona you have equipped here. It's over. Good job, everyone. Oh, well, I should have switched over to, um, Dominion then. Dominion. Yeah. That's alright. Oh, Yadagarasu must have, uh, yeah, growth one. That's why. Tsukukaja. Nice. Good going, Yuki. Your directions were on point, and you managed to keep it cool against a tough opponent. You bet I did. It was rough. <laughs> what? What? Being humble in front of your senpai? Just remember, seniority means nothing on the battlefield, so don't hold back. All right, time to move on. Stay sharp. Senpai? Senpai? Notice me. All right, let us grab... 
switch back to regular. This. This. Ballistic vest. Take a look at it before I start throwing it on people. But it's so ballistic. Reduce fizz damage low. Holds up to all manner of destructive forces. That's pretty strong, actually, because it's all fizz damage. Yeah. That might be worth holding on to for us. Yeah. That. Air saluter. Yeah, so it's not just like pierce or strike or slash, it's all fizz damage. It's nice. Yeah. When's our next rescue here? Oh, hey, man. This is a powerful enemy. Please, Please be careful. careful. Wait, two two floors of... Yep. That's another Tartarus Guardian. Um, huh. So, yeah, this one nulls slash damage. So be very careful. Do not use slash damage on it. And it's weak to wind damage. Weak to wind, you said? Wind damage, okay. that's right. Don't use strike. Use wind. No, don't. Slash. No, don't use slash. slash. Yeah. Yeah, slash. Don't use slash. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're good for strike or pierce, though. Um. Me strong. Oh, that takes a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I thought it was going to be bigger. Look at the little tank. I know. It's a little. It's so adorbs. Oh, no, it's a lot bigger. Yep. Let's see. <laughs> Um, I guess Aga is about all I can do with him. Yeah, probably. He went. <laughs> Ow. So. Alrighty. Loaded three bullets. I'll go with. I think there's wind in here. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess not. Oh boy. Not even Mothman? Oh, alright. Nobody has wind right now. <laughs> Crap, I thought, I, I thought we had at least one wind person. Yeah, we must have, like, lost that. We could probably build a Persona. Uh, let's see if we can theorycraft, like, a multi element hitter. Um, so that's probably gonna help at this point. <laughs> now that we're. High level enough. Let's see, I gotta give her some healing. Yeah, it's sort of a shame because she's the only one that can hit the weakness. Yep. But that's alright. <laughs> the healing's more important. It is. You could purpose uh, Makoto for healing since we don't have any wind persona. That's true. Alright. Yeah. Yukari does have her theurgy as well. That's gonna be good. Yeah, she just got it on that last heal, so. Yeah, it's well worth it. Okay. What? I don't like that. <laughs> that seems busted. All right. Um. I don't know their weaknesses yet. Can you test something out? Full analysis, please. Thank okay. you. Here's what I found. What to do? All right. So a good healing one would be this one. Yeah. Yeah, Mediarama is good. I'm gonna get a cool attack, that's fine. Yeah, that'll work. It really resists fizz damage, though, it looks like. Let's see what this does. Let's end this. Just one more. Take that. Oh, yeah. Yes. Wow, I think it's just got a high defense in, overall. Yeah, well, it's also Rocket Kaja. Um, do we have Dekaja somewhere? I didn't see it, I'll take care of but I'll look again. I bet we have an item that can Dekaja. Maybe. Oh, we have some Gorilla yeah, Gems. All right. Yeah, that's true. Do we have, um, I think it's one of the Sutras. Not that one. Protection, empowering, keep going. <laughs> There's the heat riser potato. What's depleting? Eh, keep going. Let's see. There's a Dekaja gem. There you go. 
Just what the doctor ordered. Just what the doctor ordered. Knock out those stat increases. That should help. Yeah. Wish we could debilitate. Debilitate is. Whew. If we can get debilitate, we should. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, it's interesting because. In contrast to something like Final Fantasy, uh, buffs and debuffs make a big difference uh, yeah. in these games. That's true. You have to have them going pretty much at all times. I have to do this. All right, Garula. Yeah. Let's see. All right. Nice. We're not gonna go easy. He's not so strong. <laughs> Yeah, we're not quite to the level of being able to use debilitate yet. Once we are, though, it's happening. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll get him. Yep. And chip him down. Yeah. Oh, heat wave. Stop it. I want to buff my party, but you keep forcing me to heal instead. <laughs> yeah, that heat wave move hits pretty hard. Yeah, but it's just, I got like a, I've got three different Ma buffing spells that I can use. Yep. You could use a buff and have Yukari do the healing swap off. Yeah. Nice. I'm hoping it's SP because I'm drowning over here. I'll take the accuracy version up though. Oh, sweet. That's SP. Yeah. Yes. And a Theurgy Gauge a boost too. <laughs> How should I kill? One step at a Very time. good. I've got this. Kill him. <laughs> kill him. Woo! Well, yes, I say we kill him. <laughs> oh, he's doing it again. No, no, no. <laughs> Ugh. Just use Heat Riser, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> That's too easy. Yeah. Yeah, the only buff we have on this one is Mara Kakaja. Yeah, I was thinking of the Ma, the Ma uh, Karunda, but I don't want to. That's fine. What next? Yeah, he's pretty low. I think we'll get him here, even with the buffs. Yeah, I think so too. No way! And curses. You miss, curse you, power up, up girls! Oh, this work. Go, Polly! Must have been Tarun dead before. Yeah. <laughs> Buddy! Enemy making Stop core error sad by not dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we haven't used virus breath yet, have yeah, we? Might as well. I don't think he can get poisoned, but jeez. <laughs> I have to do this. Come. Uh, this is a tank. It should not this be able to work. miss. Yeah, it's like accuracy evasion is way up because of Sukukaja. It's got. He's wearing a uh, Koromaru shoes. Yeah, yeah. Invasion 125. I'm sorry, what? Not Say good. what now? Woo! This is gonna be rough when it throws its next Fizz move. Yeah, I'm trying to kill it before then, but you know. Nope. <laughs> Everyone. No. Oh. All right. Here we go. Get out. Get up. <laughs> he has 14 <laughs> HP. Uh, you know what? It's still better than the um. Hit him. <laughs> Ryzen. <laughs> Everything is better than Ryzen. <laughs> Look at that XP. Oh. Nice. Very nice. Yes.
Great, now I'll be able to move on. There's always the option to turn back too. What's your call, Yuki? Actually, I think it's time to head back. <laughs> Save and take a break. Oh, there's a teleporter right up there though, so let's keep going. Yeah, we I see. Gotcha, take things at your pace. But yeah, we'll head back here in a second. We got a quality heal blade. Having koro -chan around always cheers me up. Alright, single target boost. Oh, that's pretty good. This should be a decent item as well. Warding shoes. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, uh, whoops. <laughs> that was no. These are mine. <laughs> my shoes. <laughs> mine in your dark. Oh, okay. Fascinating. Guess I was using the floaty sandals. Probably. <laughs> I don't know what you were. Oh using. no, I was using the electro <laughs> shoes for the extra the XP. Uh, okay. Endurance plus three versus Endure Dark. Wait. Endurance plus three? Okay, yeah, yeah. Huh? Could do that, yeah. You think it's better? It's so situational. Um, yeah, I, I'm not a huge... I mean, okay, so... On the off chance that Mamadoon goes off, if I wanted somebody to have Endure Dark, it would be the main character. <laughs> right. But... Um, you know, it's not bad, but it's so, so situational. Endure is better because it will will allow you to survive anything, including just something that damages you to the bottom of your Ooh, health bar. Yeah, that's the Endure, like, that's the plus Endure from, like, his chest piece. His, right. his shoes are Endurance stat plus three. Right, so. right, exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm with you. All right. Stats. Of course, Enduring Soul is the best of them because you survive a fatal blow with HP fully recovered. So you don't survive at one, you survive at max health. Right. We'll bring Igus with this as well. Very good. Yeah. All right, so that'll be for future stuff. At the moment, though, it out. we're done yeah. for today. Um, <laughs> we're, done. we're done. No, yeah. it's just because we've reached the, our time. So. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for being here. We hope you've enjoyed it. And if you do enjoy what you're watching, please uh, show your support with the uh, like, uh, subscribe, algorithm, shenanigans. I know you probably get Smash tired of hearing that it. like button. <laughs> right. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I'm sure you guys <laughs> get tired of hearing it, but it really does help. So please, 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 please. Um, but also check out our stuff, right? Like if you've liked this Persona episode, like I said, if you haven't seen the rest of it yet, you can check out the full playlist. Um, we've also got Xeno Gears, and we've got Skies of Arcadia from our previous entries for the main series. We've got Liza P running right now. We're in the we just started Mika and the Witches Mountain recently, and we're playing Salt and Sanctuary as a co-op. And there's just there's so much other stuff out there too. So be sure to peruse all the cool games. Yeah, find something that you like. I'm sure you'll find something that you enjoy. That's uh, you know delightful and funny, especially on on Tuesdays. We have our our tea time Tuesdays, which is a lot more low key, just kind of chill, drink some a warm beverage, cozy up in a blanket kind of thing, and have a relaxing afternoon. So be sure to check those out as well. And uh, yeah. Beyond all of that, thank you so much for letting us be a part of your day. We hope you have just the best day ever, and uh, we'll catch you all in the next video. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye bye now. Diddly diddly do 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 do. Thanks for watching.